Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today's video we are going to be putting some firecrackers into this toaster oven. Last year I did a very similar video with firecrackers in a microwave, and it went pretty viral. So I thought you guys might like to see this as well. Uh, very quickly, first of all, I bought this toaster from Walmart. It's a rival toaster oven. It was $16 Canadian. And the reason I bought a brand new one is because I went to Value Village first and an old one with someone's boogers on it was still like $25 plus tax of course and this was less and it's brand new so I know it works. So don't criticize me for blowing up a new toaster because it's all in the name of science too, right? I won't go ahead and name all the firecrackers quite yet, but just to get you excited, we've got everything from regular old uh, inch and a half crackers to bottle rockets, we got these demons, we got some super demons, which as you can see are a pretty good size. We got some Xena Nitrate and Tiger Boom, these are 4 gram crackers which is pretty insane. There's another few big ones, and of course these things, some 5 poppers, these are like the ones from like uh, Poland I think it is. So they're pretty powerful, so uh, let's go ahead and get it going. So as you can see I got my toaster oven loaded up in the back of this truck because over here as you can see there's all these cars and I don't really want to do it just because my last one the door door will probably blow off so we got a generator extension cord the toaster oven of course and a big old tarp and we're gonna go set it out up in one of those fields way out there. Alright, so we're out here in the middle of this field. Here's our setup. I got this tarp on top of the grass to prevent fires and easy cleanup basically. There is the toaster oven and the cord is plugged in to a generator like over there under those trees. So what I'm going to do is set this to the on position. How about we do stay on is right there and then temperature Let's just turn it up to as much as possible. Maybe broil actually, because then it goes from the top. And I think for now we'll get rid of this metal tray. Just do that little mesh thing. And maybe start the experiment off with the least powerful. So make sure to stay to the end. We'll do the more powerful stuff. So right here I have this good mix. Actually looking at it now, I'm probably just gonna put these on the tray like this and put her on in right like that. So that's a bunch of those one and a half inch firecrackers. I wish you could see that a little better. I'll take it out again. One and a half firecrackers, some little black ones, and some eight ring shot caps. And maybe just for fun and to speed up the process a little bit, I might go ahead and throw in some matches. So there is the fun little combination we got going on there. We'll do more powerful ones next. Let's start with that, close it up, I'm going to go plug it in, and then let's see what happens. There's matches, oh yep, here we go, here we go. Alright, so there you have it, it took a while, didn't look like it for you guys since I sped it up. But there's the damage. I can't believe it actually knocked the shelf down and blew the door open with just the little ones. The big ones here will be a nice surprise. I'm going to go ahead and set up the next round and I'll show you guys what happens. So next up we're going to try three bottle rockets. Alright, plug it in. Oh, I see smoke. I see smoke. Oh, fire, fire. All right, so those are the three bottle rockets. They left a lot of smoke in here. Uh, I'm not gonna bother taking out the pan, but we're gonna move on to the second last test now. I'm gonna do one of these green ones. They are fairly powerful. 
and then we're gonna move straight on to one of the big Tiger booms which will destroy the toaster oven so make sure you stay tuned for that all right Alright, so now for the finale, I'm going to be doing this 4 gram, just in case you don't believe me, there it is right there, 4G firecracker with a whole bunch of matches to make sure it goes off. I'm going to put it in there just like this. Last time only one of those three went off, but I didn't want to break the microwave. So we're going to go ahead and do the finale now. I'm going to run like stink because I feel like it's going to blow this thing sky high. I'm going to back up the camera just so you can see a bit more of the explosion. It's hard to know how far to back the camera up, but I think that should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up now, and I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Make sure the match isn't gonna light right away. Yeah, we're good. All right, ready to plug it in? Plug it in. All right, so so that cracker was the last one. Good thing I bought the extended warranty on this. I'll just take it back to Walmart tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go over the damage report. So luckily I was smart and brought a tarp because look at all of the pieces of plastic. Melted plastic went through the tarp. Uh, this is plastic. Oh, no, it's kind of like the glass element right there. So here is the tray. It's a little hot, so let me grab my little cardboard glove here. <laughs> so there's the tray. It used to be flat. That, that's crazy, man. That's like probably three inch um, explosion in the middle. Uh, there's the little mess that used to be just on top of it there. It's obviously extracted. This guy here is the roof. This, I believe, oh yeah, see that used to go Oh, that's the uh, that's the base. That that used to be flat. I'm pretty sure. Right there, like the little curvature what, wasn't designed into this. I don't think. Okay, continuing, we got our heater elements. They are pretty mucked up. Um, the glass door surprised me. The glass is intact, not a crack. I might have to go get this a five star rating, man. So there's the glass intact, little dirty, little Windex will clean that right up. Um, the inside unfortunately is a little uh, damaged. I believe that was straight as well. And the last thing to look at is the back of it. Um, so this here is not tin foil. This is like probably a millimeter thick, whatever gauge that would be, steel. I'm trying to bend it back here to show you guys and I cannot. Um, that's what it looks like now, as you can see. It used to look like, before the video, you remember what it looked like, there it is now. This got a little bent, the top got a little bent, and that's the back of it, as you can see. So there it is. Uh, hope you guys did stay for the outro. If you did, make sure to comment how awesome it was, so other people stay for the last explosion. I understand the first few were a little, uh, little childish. But that's why we saved the best for last because unfortunately I don't think I can cook my grilled cheese in this today. But I'm definitely going to try and return it. You know Walmart has a good return policy. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also comment if you want to see me blow anything else up. I do like blowing stuff up and as you can see I have a good space to do it. Uh, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So I was packing up the truck and this piece is just so... So awesome, I was wondering if anyone's interested and made it to the very end of the video, you must be a pretty cool subscriber. So if you are interested, first one to send me a personal message that they're interested in this and are willing to pay shipping and whatever for it. 
uh, I can send it to them. Pretty darn cool. Not everyone would want it, but maybe someone does. So if you're interested, please let me know. Again, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.